You have cheered me up. <laughs> no, you really have, because I was standing round the back there, you know, and I, I suddenly felt unwanted. <laughs> No, I did, because, you see, not many people know this, but I had a very unfortunate start in life. I, <laughs> no, I, I was always being neglected and, and ignored. And even on the day I was born, my father said to the midwife, Is it a boy or a girl? She said, Is what a boy or a girl? <laughs> what a start in life. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you, to see you! <laughs> the pack which makes me such a lucky jack and here they are they're so appealing come on darlings do your dealing and there they are. Now, Bruce, who was that pretty woman I saw you talking with earlier? Oh, pretty woman? Uh, uh, Julia Roberts. Oh, no, it oh. did look a bit like her. Oh, oh, that lady. Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was an ex-girlfriend of mine. Mm. Oh, well, she looked gorgeous. Oh, she was a beautiful girl, a beautiful girl, and we were madly in love. I, I wanted to marry her, but her family objected. What, her mother and father? No, her husband and four children. <laughs> <laughs> Go and deal with the cards. Go on, now. As you can see, Sophie's dealing out the red cards at the top and Vicky's dealing out the blue cards on the bottom. We have our cards. All we need now are our players. <laughs> there we are. There we are. How are you? Welcome, welcome and welcome. That's fine. Now, you are Pam... Store. Pam Store and Ian. Collier. Ian Collier. I see Collier. And uh, where are you from? Redcar. Red car. Look, look, win a car first, and then we'll discuss <laughs> what car. <laughs> well, then, don't start getting pushy with me. <laughs> right, what do you do, Pam? I'm a hairdresser. You're a hairdresser? Fine, well, that figures. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what do you do, Ian? I'm a car mechanic. A car mechanic, yeah? Yeah. Wait a minute. Haven't we... Just a minute, do you mind? Haven't we met before? <laughs> <laughs> just a minute, will you just lie down and put your feet out here? <laughs> Lie down, no, lie down. <laughs> yes, of course! <laughs> I remember you! Collier's garage, just outside Redcar. That's right. Yeah, I never forget a foot. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Now then, uh, why haven't you got engaged yet? Well, he's too fond of the garden. Oh, he's too fond of his garden? <laughs> oh, yes. He's spending the money. Last time he said for the engagement ring, spent the money on the patio. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you didn't get your stone, but he got plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, so, so go on, what happened after that? He saved up again, spent it on the fish pond. <laughs> no, he saved that for another engagement, finished with the fish pond. So instead of a diamond ring, it was a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear, so then you finished this off here, and then what happened? Well, we I said up the third time, but the third time I bought a garden shed. <laughs> well, I should lock him in it until he comes to his senses. I've never heard of anything like it. Now, have you any irritating habits, Pam, at all? Oh, I like to sing while I work. Oh, you sing while you work? There's nothing wrong with that. In the hairdressers, I drive the clients up the wall. Oh, you drive the clients up the wall? Well, that's, that's a bit unkind. I think it's nice if you didn't give that extra service. Look, sing. Go on, away you go. Oh, go on, go on. And I... Yeah, so wonder you've got any clients left. Um, <laughs> what's, what's all this about a balloon, Ian? Well, last year we didn't have any money to go on holiday, but I had a good week, so what I did, I bought a balloon, yeah. give it to Pam, I told Pam to pop it, but she wouldn't pop it. In the end, when she did pop it, uh, two cards for a holiday, uh, Zanti to Greece, fell out. Oh, the tickets for the holiday. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. lovely. Well, next time you bring a balloon on, Make sure an engagement ring is in it. Love <laughs> <laughs> to both of you. And I'm sorry to keep you two waiting. And it's Steph and Steve... Young. 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 <laughs> yes, young at heart. Oh. Right. <laughs> OK. And you're from uh, Hertfordshire. Yep. I see. For, and uh, what do you do, Steph? I'm an insurance. In, you're an insurance. Yeah. And what do you do, Steve? I'm a customer service administrator. Oh, I see. <laughs> fine. You nearly forgot then, didn't you? <laughs> 
Right, now, where did you meet, uh, Steph? Uh, we met at my cousin's 21st birthday party. Oh, uh, yes. We was getting ready to go out and was arguing over who should use the bathroom first. So oh, and you'd never met before? No, so oh, we yeah. decided that we should go together in the end. Oh, you, d oh, you, you offered that, did <laughs> yeah. you? Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. I see. Well, let's hear your version of this, Steve. Well, all I could remember was I was in boxer shorts and all she was in was a long jumper. No. <laughs> A long jumper. My goodness, sounds like a brief encounter. Yes. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, lots of people told you when you were taking your driving test, if you don't know the answer, make it up. So, Steve, what did you do then? Well, you know when you come to the end and they ask you questions on the highway code? Yes. The driving instructor asked me, yeah. what would happen with no indicators, how would you turn left? Oh, I see. So I said, I'd wind the window down, put my hand on top of the roof and point left. <laughs> <laughs> He nearly burst out laughing. He did, he laughed. <laughs> he said to me, how did you come by that answer? I said, just made it up. No, <laughs> oh, that's a shame. So I you failed. I failed. You failed. Yeah, you see, when I started driving, indicators weren't invented. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is true, they weren't. So what I used to do, I used to unwire the other window and stick my leg out. <laughs> no problem at all, no problem at all. Now, have you any special talent at all, Steve? I can you do look as though you could have a bit of I can do down. impressions. Oh, really? Who do you do? Dame Edna. Yes. Benny Hill. Benny Hill, yes. Chris Eubank. Cr now, that's a difficult one to do. He's difficult. Yeah, OK, Chris Eubank. Right. My name's Chris Eubank. <laughs> I've given up fighting now because I don't like hurting people. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't know he, he lisped like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> now I know. Now, have you any bad habits at all, Steph? Well, I beat Steve up in bed. You when I went to sleep, I kick you, him you, and punch him. You <laughs> kick him and punch him and... Really? Yeah. Do you really? Well, I'll make a note of that. <laughs> Knock out in bed. <laughs> <laughs> And the next time she does that, you know, do your Chris Eubank. Oh, definitely. I know it's not very good, but it might stop her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you cut the cards? Yes. You did? That's fine. Did you see them cut the cards? Yeah. Right, now, the idea of the game is this. We want you to work your way across the board by predicting whether each of these cards is higher or lower than the preceding one. The first one to turn over the last card correctly will win the game and a Brucey bonus. Wow! <laughs> All of our questions are based on a poll of 100 people. Ian and Pam, you won the toss, so you're going to start us off, but good luck to you all. Here we go. We asked 100 policemen, if you saw Bruce Forsyth standing at the curbside, would you offer to help him across the road? <laughs> <laughs> the policeman did. He tried to get me across the road the other day. Uh, trouble it was the M1 in rush hour. But... Uh, <laughs> Many policemen said yes, if they saw Bruce Forsyth standing at the curbside, they would offer to help him across the road. I'll be very low, very low. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes, definitely. You know how to make friends, don't you, Ian? <laughs> I'd have a chauffeur to carry him across the road, wouldn't you? So? I'd have a chauffeur to carry me across yeah, the road. Well, well, you could be right there, but 30? put a figure. About 30, you think? About 30? Or 40. Oh, 40. About 40. 40. Okay, about 40. About 40. What do you think about this, Steve? Do Steph, do you think a policeman I would help me across the road? I already bribed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to bribe him. Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> you thank you very office. much indeed, Steve. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, lower? Lower, yeah. Slightly lower. Slightly lower than 40. All right. The actual number who would offer to help him across the road is... <laughs> 44! A good guess in the first place, and you were wrong to go lower. So you're off and running, Ian and Pam. Your base card is a six. Do you want to change it? Change it! Change it, change change it. Change it. Change it for an ace. Yeah. What have we got? Come on! Lower, lower. lower than an ace. You've... Oh, an eight! Oh. A bit in the middle. The middle card. Um, what do you think? Freeze. Freeze! freeze. <laughs> you're going to freeze. After yeah. all that, they're going to freeze. <laughs> Oh, we're all getting excited, but you've protected your cards. It might be a wise decision. Steve and Steph, you to answer next. We asked 100 disc jockeys, after a while, do all status quo records tend to sound the same to you? <laughs> How many disc jockeys said yes? After a while, all status quo records did tend to sound the same to them. They do sound the same, don't they? They do. Smashy and icy think they sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> I like status quo, but they do sound the same. They do sound the same. Uh, you like them, but they do they, tend they do, to do yeah, the same, same thing quite high a lot of the time. 74. Si bit low, about 62. <laughs> I love this, the look in the Halfway. eyes. Halfway, 67. 65. 65. <laughs> I love it, I love it. 65 it is. Have you got views about status quo? Are you fans? No. 
You're not. No. <laughs> you, you are, though. But you, you hear their records, of course. Yeah. Um, I think they sound the yeah. same, but a disc jockey, no. I think he understands more. Yeah, so I think slightly lower. Slightly lower, yeah. Just slightly lower, Slightly, yeah. lower, slightly lower than lower. 65. The actual number who did say they sounded the same is... 83! <laughs> How about that? That's a surprise. Steve and Steph, you're now off and running and you've got a base card and it is a two. What do you think? Higher than a two, you say an eight. What about that? What about that? Stick. Stick. You're going to go? You're going to stick. If you say stick once more, Steve. All right, then, do anything you like. Right, Ian and Pam, you to answer the next question first. We didn't get very far, did we? We asked 100 men on a building site, would you work in a country where it was illegal to drink alcohol? You know, because the lads, when they've been working, they'll have a few beers afterwards. <laughs> That's the idea of the thing. How many men on a building site said yes, they would work in a country where it was illegal to drink alcohol? Oh, see, they hi. might get lots more yeah. money. Most of them work just to drink. <laughs> yes, yeah, but you see, they may say we'll go so there. It's definitely the money. I'd so, say we'll go up to 70. 74. Yes? Yeah? Yes, yeah, 74. 74. 74, you're going with yeah. that, Steve? Lower. Think oh. Have you any views on that? Well, lower, it... but all the others have been in our Vida Saint Pet anyway. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> say lower than that. <laughs> all right, so you well. say lower. The actual number who would be prepared to work there is. <laughs> 39! It just shows you way out in the first place. They wouldn't be prepared. So there we are. We can get rid of that nasty yes, eight. Please. See the yes, Seth? Please. Let's change your card for... Yes. Oh, a good card. Oh, no. What do you think? Lower than a jack, you say, a oh. nine. Oh, no. Right in the middle. Oh, no. You're going on lower than a nine. Oh. Queen. Giving you, Ian and Pam, a free go from the eight. What do you think? Uh, lower. 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 Lower than an eight. A jack. Oh. oh, dear. It is sudden death. Sudden death. Right, Stephen, Steph, you to answer first. Very important to get control of the board. We asked 100 shepherds, do you think that sheepdog trials make exciting television? <laughs> How many shepherds said yes? They did think that sheepdog trials make exciting television. What do you think? I don't think so. They might enjoy it, but I don't forget what else does. Yeah, but they think. <laughs> they've got, no, they think. Yeah, it's yeah, what they well. think. They don't forget that. Their don't own whistle. Yeah, I think don't be confused. <laughs> <laughs> they like the sound of their own whistle, they're going to like no, that. No, they'd be like 44. No, higher than that. No. Higher. Higher? Yeah, they I love it. Then. They love it. They love it. It's 62. their opinion. 62. 62. 62. 62 is their opinion. What do you think about shepherds? Oh, yeah. I think so, the highest. Do you well, think yeah. they've got to be... Yeah. Well, it's their type of air. Their type of... Yeah, yeah, their kind of sport, exactly. Yeah. OK. You think higher. The actual number who did say they made exciting television is... <laughs> 76, right to go higher, so you're in control there. And it is sudden death, so it's your decision. You can either change the eight and then go all the way along the line. Every card has got to be correct to win the game. Or you can force Steve and Steph from the jack to turn over all these cards to win the game. So is it pass or is it play? I think pass. <laughs> Pass. You're going to pass? Yeah. OK, it's up to you to try to win the game, Steve and Steph. You've got a jack there, so lower, what do you think? Lower, lower, lower. Lower than a jack, a four. Higher! Higher than a four, a nine. Lower. Lower. lower! This will decide the game, lower than a nine. Yeah! <laughs> you see, they sneaked in. A difficult decision, difficult decision. But you've won a Brucey bonus, <laughs> which is a long Swiss weekend staying on beautiful Lake Lucerne with spending money. Brilliant. Lake Lucerne. <laughs> We're now ready for game two. OK, there is another Brucey bonus. Ian and Pam, it's yours with the next game if you win it. Right. Now, you to answer the question first. We asked 100 single women under 25. If a man took you to see a sad film and he ended up crying, would he go up in your estimation? Yes, I think so. definitely. definitely yeah. Yes. I'm a softie, oh, I'm yeah, you're a yeah. How many single women under 25 <laughs> said yes? If a man took them to see a sad film and he ended up crying, he would go up in their estimation. 76. 70. Oh, it's a bit higher, I think. Okay. Definitely, yeah. OK, we'll go 76. Oh, 76? 76. Yeah. You're going for 76? Yeah. Views on this, Steve oh. and it Steph? I, I know, I no. cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cry at the Andrex advert. <laughs> 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 
Um, I love it. I agree. It's going to be high, but I don't think it's going to be that high. A bit no, lower. A bit just lower. a little bit lower. Just a little bit just lower a little than bit 76. Lower. Right. The actual number who did say he'd go up in their estimation is... 79! A very good guess in the first place, and you were wrong to go lower. So see if you're lucky this time, Ian and Pan. You've got a base card, it's a nine. Change it, change it, change it. Change, change it. it, we'll say change it. <laughs> You say a jack. Lower, lower, lower. lower than a jack, you say a seven. Oh, Stiff. Freeze, 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 freeze. freeze. Protect your cards. OK. Next question coming up for Steve and Steph. We asked 100 female nurses, do you think it's safe for women to take part in boxing matches? <laughs> well, for a start, they wouldn't play for a purse, would they? <laughs> that could be a handbag. <laughs> and matching Longsdale belts. <laughs> So, how many female nurses said yes? They did think it was safe for women to take part in boxing matches. This well, is what the well, nurses think. Well, I know the way you hit me in bed, so, I mean, I wouldn't... Like yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, the way she slogged away. Oh, you know, you know, kicked you in the lock. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous, uh, isn't it? It's dangerous, yeah. and especially now with all these rules and regulations. Yeah. Yes. But... Still... And they know the stuff, they know what hurts. They know what hurts, <laughs> yeah. you know what hurts. It's women, though. Women, women. Yeah. taking part in I boxing matches. 45. No, a bit lower than that. Oh. Yeah, 38. 29. 29, I'll go yeah. with her. She'll right. only beat me up if oh. I don't. OK. <laughs> now, Pam, do you think it would be safe for women no, to box? Do you think nurses would think that? It's yeah, no. It's definitely, no, it's definitely low. Girl, all the boxing and the people getting injured in the papers and that. It's definitely yeah. low. <laughs> Probably yeah. fixing them up lower? too much. Yeah, definitely low. Yeah. Definitely lower. lower. You think lower? OK. The actual number who did say it was safe is... <laughs> 30. <laughs> So near, so oh. near in the first place. But there you are, you're off, uh, Steve and Steph, and your base card is a jack. Lower! Lower than a jack, you say, a seven. Oh. Higher. 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 Higher! Higher than a seven, you're going on, an ace. Yes. Lower! Lower than an ace, you say, a six. Oh. Higher! Higher! You're going for it, higher than a six for the match. Yes. Oh. They took a chance there with that light. I tell you, you were very brave there on the seven. But there we are. You haven't even got a Brucey oh, bonus, did you? But thank here's you. your lovely flowers. And here's the decanter and glasses for you. you. And we'll see you later on for a drink. OK? okay. Thank you And very thank much. you for being with us. Bad luck, indeed. There we are. Come on, you two. You round here, that's it. There we are. Stay right there, that's fine. And you've won another Brucey bonus. <laughs> Which is a personal communication centre, the latest home telephone, fax and answering machine. Oh, so it really is. Oh, you like all that oh, yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> Great. <laughs> OK. Now, you've earned the chance to play with our cash cards, which means you could win thousands of pounds, plus this magnificent car. Before we deal out the cash cards, the more pounds you get, the richer you get. And what do pounds make? Rich people! We want you to leave here rich people, OK? There she is, Vicky. She's going to deal out your blue cards. Good luck. Let's Thank hope you. they're just as lucky, OK? But first of all, I'm going to give you £200. Can I ask you a question? If you get the question right, I can add 50 to the 200. If you get it wrong, I have to take 50 away. All right, Sophie. There she goes. Sophie Sops. <laughs> there she is. All the best, though. Thank you. Thank you. There we Keeping are. Everything crossed. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. And here's your question. No help from our audience this part of the show. Which actor played Batman in the third film of the recent series, Batman Forever? Was it Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, or Jim Carrey? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yep. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. No, it's Val Kilmer. Oh. 
Bad luck there, but don't worry. I mean, 150 pounds, you can still do a lot of damage if you play it carefully. Right, now, you play the game as you did before, OK? Your minimum risk must be 50, or, you know, you can double up or whatever part of, you can do whatever you like there. When you get to here, we move you up to here and we give you another 200 pounds out of the goodness of our hearts. We move you along and move you along. When you get to here, if you've got 4,000 pounds or more, you have a chance to go for the car. <laughs> We ask you another question on the turn of this card will determine whether you win the car or not. Is that all clear, Steph and Steve? Yeah. Yep. Marvellous. Let's have a good base card. There we are, a ten. Well, you can change the card like you did change before. Change it, please. Change the ten for... Oh, I better. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Vicky Darling. Higher. What a nice job. Higher. A hundred pounds. Higher. Higher than a two. Why not? A three. Oh, all good. Higher. And a good card. Two hundred higher. Two hundred higher than a three. A king. Yes. Well done. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred lower than the king. A three. Yes. Well done. You are well on track. We give you another two hundred. So really, believe me, very few people get to this amount of money as fast as that. So the hundred and fifty didn't put you back at all. You have a thousand and fifty pounds and a good card. You play it which way you like. I'd just like to remind you, you have to have four thousand here to go for the car. Oh, good, so, good, good, good. think about it. 800 higher? 800. 800 higher. 800 higher than the three. A jet. <laughs> you now have 1,850. You need 2,000 here. I'm sure you're working that up, but I just want to make sure you know. You need 2,000 here to double up should you get another good card. So, think about it. 800. 800, 800 lower. You're getting... 800, 800, 800 lower. 800 lower than a jack. A three! Yes! yes. <laughs> 2,000. Now, then, you have to go 1,400 pounds on this card to have a go for the car. So, yep. as long as you remember that, OK, and that's clear to you. Yeah. All right, fine. 1,400 so, pounds higher. You're going for yeah. it. Yeah. 1,400 pounds higher than the three! Yeah. <laughs> Very, very well done. By the way, that £4,050 is yours no matter what happens now. We have another question. Let's compose ourselves. Another question coming up now. Well done. Now then. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Weren't they good, Fantastic. Sophie? There we are. Now, name me five stringed instruments. Guitar, banjo, violin, viola, cello. That's it now. There you go. All right, that was marvellous. Now, the rules are the same. You can change the card if you so desire. Yeah. It is change a very it, middle please. card, so let's change it. See what we got. Oh, yes. Lower. Oh, lower. lower. That looks lower. good. You want to get it over quick? Yeah. Lower. All right, lower the quick. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was so sure you'd won that. Come here. Come here. Oh, and they'd all been so good for you. But you did, you know, the £4,050, no matter what happens, you've got that. And you get the, the weekend on Lake Lucerne, which you have a marvellous time with us. The home telephone, fax of the answering machine. And it all adds up to a grand total of £5,800. So it wasn't oh, so bad. Thank you. Not thank what you. we wanted, but not so bad. Well, it's not too late. It's still be a big night to say your card's right. Good night, and thank you very much. Bye bye. Get your sun cream and your swimming togs packed. We're off to Australia for the chase at nine tonight. New on Challenge. <laughs>